Good morning everyone, it's been one year since Detail launched. They've always advertised 5G, but when they first launched they only supported 4G. If you've checked your cell phone recently, you may have noticed at the top it says 5G. That means we should be getting much faster speeds. This will still depend on your area, but let's try a speed test here. Okay, wow, <laughs> I couldn't even read it. Over 500 Mbps. Not everyone likes speedtest.net, so let's try fast.com. This is operated by Netflix, so whatever speed you get here should be somewhat representative of what you would get if you were streaming Netflix. So again, 550 Mbps. Bear in mind, this is just indoors, and I only have four bars of 5G hovering between three bars, four bars. Let's try download a one gigabyte file from a server in Europe and see what kind of speed we can get. The only thing I would say is be careful with doing too many speed tests because when I started, I had 28 gigabytes. Just with those two speed tests and the one gigabyte download, I now have 24 gigabytes remaining. So you could burn through your data pretty quickly if you keep doing speed tests over and over again. Let's try open a video from Linus Tech Tips. Boom, instant loading, let's jump forward. Okay, that wasn't super fast scrubbing forward. Let's try again. Yeah, I mean, it's fast, but it's not mind blowing. Let's try and open a movie on Netflix. Click play. Okay, so instant playing. Let's jump forward. Yeah, it's fast, huh? My cell phone, most of the time I'm using GOMO because I just bought 150, 200 gigabyte of data in advance and it never expires. So that's what I'm using most of the time. But for calls, I'm really using Detail because it gives the best call quality for me. I don't get the dropped calls, I don't get the robotic voice. For me, Detail is great for phone calls. For my home internet, I'm actually using the Rocket SIM from Smart because it's unlimited. I wanted PODT fiber. They kept telling me there's no slots. So I bought a 5G router and then I've just been using the Rocket SIM. So honestly, when it comes to GOMO and the Rocket SIM, I think they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Dito, for bringing competition to the market, especially in the provinces, because Dito is not just here in NCR, they've been operating in the provinces also. And in fact, this is my 5G router. SIM card goes in the bottom and then it broadcasts a Wi-Fi. Also has some LAN ports on the back. Right now I have a smart rocket SIM installed. Usually this goes by the window, but for today's demonstration, I'll just hold it. In fact, before swapping out the SIM card, let's do a speed test on smart. Bear in mind, this is not ideal circumstances because the router should really be next to the window. Okay, that's a pretty good download. And how's the upload? I actually can't read it on the camera because it's backwards. Okay, so 210 down, 30 up, which is pretty good. And if I put this by the window, it would be even better. We'll remove the smart SIM card from the router and we'll put in tiny little Dito SIM card. So right now, only the 4G light has come on, which means we're connected at 4G speeds but let's go ahead and do a speed test, see what we can get at 4G. Okay, so we got 50 down, eight up. The upload's better, but the download is kind of slow. Let me try and work out why the 5G didn't connect yet. Okay, so I've been messing with this for a while. I cannot get my router to connect to Detail 5G. You can actually buy a Detail 5G router and this is designed for always on home internet. They're selling it for a pretty good price, to be honest. It's 13,000 pesos, and that comes with 50 gigabytes of data. You might say, oh, that's expensive, but I paid more than that for my 5G router, although mine is open line, so I can put any network into this. I could put Globe, Dito, Smart. I just don't know why the 5G isn't working with Dito. I will ask them, maybe it's a configuration thing on their side, because when they first launched, there were some issues with certain devices getting connected to their network. We're back on the original cell phone and you'll see that the 5G connected just fine. According to the LTE Discovery app, 
we're connected 5G N77, which is 3.7 gigahertz. And I just checked the specifications for my 5G router. It does support N77, so why can't it connect to the detailed 5G network? I'll take the phone over to the window and just see what kind of speed we can get under ideal circumstances. Okay, I'm back. So next to the window, 888 meg down, 18.5 up. Obviously that's megabit per second, but yeah, pretty impressive, huh? Now, aside from supporting 5G, they've offered a lot more promos compared to what they had before, starting from 99 pesos up to 999 pesos. The top promo for 999 gets you 120 gig of data, unlimited text to all networks, 300 minutes of calls to all network, and then unlimited calls detail to detail. So for a heavy user, that's a pretty good promo. At the lower end on the 99 pesos, that gets you seven gig of data, unlimited text to all network, 300 minutes of calls to other networks and unlimited detail to detail. That's also pretty darn good. That's valid for 30 days. All of these promos are valid for 30 days. If you renew them before they expire, anything that's unused will carry over. If you don't renew them before they expire, you start fresh. You lose your data, you lose your minutes, you lose, you know, whatever, basically. That's just a quick update. To be fair, detail is going in the right direction. They brought a lot of competition and I found their service to be good. It's just the device compatibility can be a bit hit and miss. And it's only recently that they actually turned on 5G. So yeah, just a quick update video. Maybe in a few weeks or a couple of months, we'll come back and revisit it because I'm sure by then a lot of the issues with 5G would have been resolved. Thanks for watching.